hi guys today we're going to try some makeup on my face so the reason that i thought i would i actually just started putting on my makeup and had to take it all off again because my skin is not behaving it doesn't really know what it wants to do it was like really dehydrated some stuff that i've used in the past that i absolutely loved was not working for me and so i thought i would just start recording and see what happens because those things would have been kind of worth recording just to show you how things didn't work so we'll see we'll see but i am going to do something slightly different now uh, i'm going to put on my bobby brown extra repair nourishing milk um first of all to hopefully combat any of that dryness i didn't think my skin was that dry i have just i guess i just cleaned it but i have just um washed my face and i've done a mask and stuff obvs um and i just didn't think of it as being that dry when it came to putting on my makeup but obviously that's the way it was feeling uh, i also put on that milk cooling water stuff under my eyes which ordinarily has been fine but i'm not sure it was feeling it today so i'm going to use this dr seabar 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 i don't know uh, eye primer lift i found this in a drawer and hadn't even used it once i have no idea where i'm supposed to be putting this but I'm gonna put it everywhere because it says it's gonna lift my eyes. It says to revitalize tired eyes, crepey skin and fine lines at the start of the day or before a night out. And we're kind of both of those things because it is kind of the start of the day, but I'm going out with work today, a um, bit of an afternoon session, and I want my makeup to last. I found, where is it? The Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. This is in Radiance. And I think I'm gonna use that one again because historically this has worked really well for me. Um, and I think this is good stuff. We're going to try the Nars Sheer Glow because I haven't used this in a really long time and bear in mind that means that this is quite old so don't tell anyone I'm still using a product that I probably shouldn't be using but I'm just going to pop on a little bit and see whether or not this still works for me. Do you think that's actually picking up a lot of dryness? It's not something I would have said about this foundation. I thought it was quite dewy. Um, but I think it does settle slightly. I think the products that I was using before, there were too many um, that were kind of trying to dry out my skin and last, and they just weren't working together very well. This is one of those products that seems to be not so great if you've got any kind of dryness, which is crazy, because once upon a time I absolutely loved this stuff, and people would say that it wasn't uh, suitable for oily skin, when I think it actually is really suitable for oily skin, because I don't think it was suitable for dry skin. Um, but that actually looks really, really pretty. So I'm gonna keep that on this time. The color that I've got is Mont Blanc. I'm actually gonna use a tiny bit more where I've got breakouts because I don't wanna use a different concealer. I swear the texture of my skin has actually got worse. When I like move my cheek, I can see all of the pores down here. I told you, as you get older, your skin changes and you need to learn how to do your makeup again, as if you've got a brand new face. It's insane. Something that I have been using recently that um, I thought was gonna be really heavy and completely not fit for purpose at all, are these Bobbi Brown correctors. This one's in light bisque. This is completely unintentionally a very high end, get ready with me. This is not why I meant it to be at all. It's completely random. So I thought these were quite heavy um, and that they would probably crease, etc. And then I saw the makeup artist on Instagram using this and she was just kind of like quickly blending it out. And I started doing that and I looked at my face when I was at work in the middle of the day and I thought, you know what, I can't see any area where that's creased, which is amazing. You would think a cream concealer in this kind of pot would be very heavy. Benefit Boing, for example, would 100% crease under my eyes, but this didn't. And I never feel like I need a ton of anything. It's just what I put there, because I'm not into very, very heavy makeup anyway, what I do put there, I don't want it then to look really horrible and draw attention to the fact that I'm wearing makeup. I want everything to look as natural as possible, which you wouldn't think because I feel like I've got a mask of makeup on right now. Right, eye primer. We've got the NYX Proof It that I have raved and raved and raved about. One thing I have found with that NYX primer is you can't blend very well on top of it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of loose powder over the top of my eyelids. Um, so it makes it a little bit easier when I go in with my eyeshadow. The eyeshadow palette that I've been using a lot recently is this one from Morph. Uh, or Morphe? Morphe? Uh, Morph was that guy on Tony Hart, right? The little, the little guy. Um, 12NB, which I think is like 12 natural something or other. 
Um, I am going to use, because I've been using this a ton and there are some beautiful golden colours in here. Um, I am going to use this colour there in my crease. Just realised that my nail is chipped and I need to do that before I leave the house. Wow, so pigmented. That NYX primer is amazing, but like I say, quite tricky when it comes to blending because it kind of sticks to it and then it's there. I've just realised I'm like reaching over here for the mirror and it's a palette so I could just pick it up. I said it was difficult to blend but these shadows made it really easy. Then I'm going to use the creamy shade. Just going to put that up here. This gorgeous gold colour. I'm going to use this very pale gold colour in the inner corner. And this deep dark colour in the outer corner. Just realised how far away you were for all of that. We could have at least zoomed slightly in. Oh, that is pigmented. And obviously I took that under my eye a little bit. I'm going to try and blend this. Okay, I don't think that looked too bad. It's all about like getting stuff even. That's what I find really tricky. Looking the same on both sides. I'm going to use my B Duo Liner. I'm not going to do winged liner because I haven't got the patience for it right now. I will do mascara, but I'm going to do powder first because I don't want to get that all over my mascara. This is the um, Vichy Derma Blend. Just looks so pretty. Every time I use this, I'm like, yes. I wish it wasn't a loose powder because it's such a pain. But if they brought this out in a compact, I would carry it everywhere I went. Okay, I don't know when to stop. I need to stop. Having some eyebrow issues, I feel like they look quite sparse today. I think, I don't know if I've lost a little piece of where they've been microbladed or what. But they just look like they need a little bit of help. And since we've done almost exclusively high-end stuff, I thought I would bring out the Hourglass Palette of Dreams um, and use this for any kind of cheek situation. I'll tell you something funny, I didn't want to use my Urban Decay heat palette because I didn't want to go too dark and smouldery in the eyes. I think I may have missed something there. Right, I'm going to use the little bronzy colour. My t-shirt says springtime and my makeup says it's the depths of winter. And I'm going to use the beautiful glowy, oh I love that so much, what is that one called again? dim light. I'm going to get another miniature of that when I go to Sephora next when we're in New York because oh, it is so pretty. So pretty. I think you can actually get one from Space NK. If I can find the link I'll put it below for you because you can get one for like £20 instead of um, like the large size of the regular palette or even, I mean the large size of the individual or even the palette. You can get this dim light which is the nicest highlighter in the world. Honestly, I'm just not having a good skin day. My skin looked good before I put it on, all the makeup, but it feels really dehydrated. I can see the makeup around here. It's just not pretty. I would be using that Lancome mascara that I've been using recently. However, I don't know what I've done with it. I think I've left it downstairs somewhere. So I'm gonna use this. It's the Bourjois Volume Reveal and it's the waterproof, which means at least, I mean, I don't think I'm gonna be getting, you know, um, in any swimming pools or anything while I go out, but, it means that it's not going to transfer, whereas the um, other two that I have at the moment, which is that one and the smoky one from Bobby Brown, they do transfer occasionally. So was, although this doesn't give me that same kind of pow lashes, um, they, it won't transfer. The weather today is so weird. It's like sunny and warm and odd, but it's October. I've just realised I haven't actually brushed my teeth yet, so I wouldn't normally be doing um, my lip but i'm gonna do this should i do this or should i do that <gasps> so many choices no i'm gonna do this no i should do that i don't know what lipstick to wear problems maybe i swear this is like the same color that i just picked out but maybe hitchhike from urban decay but do i want to go bold i mean i've got a yellow t-shirt on maybe i should get changed what about an actual nude i have just had a bit of a nightmare with this pencil look what i've done with it Ah, uh, pencil sharpeners are the worst I don't even think I like it now. Maybe. I don't know if I'm going to keep this, but I like the colour. I just don't know whether or not this goes with this. What am I even going to wear this t-shirt with now? I should have gone for like really basic and then bright red or something. And that lip combination was the Lip Definer from H&M in Masala and Smoked Peach from Revlon. So that is it. It is such a bright day today. I'm like, 
the whole time so whether or not you actually saw my eyes at any point during that or if I was just squinting at the camera um but hopefully you like this hopefully you enjoyed this if you did please subscribe thumbs up do all the things that people ask you to do and I will see you guys next time with probably something close to a review maybe a vlog I don't know yet because I haven't scheduled anything i just wanted a little update i was really not feeling how my skin looked also i've curled my hair by the way this is another video um i was not feeling how my skin was looking so i used the smashbox primer and i just used a ton of it literally lay on the floor or not on the floor on the bed spritz 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 and waited for it to dry 100 percent. i didn't blot it and do anything with it and my skin looked so much better afterwards this is amazing amazing stuff if you buy one primer one setting spray make it this it is awesome i've then um slightly blotted with this this is what i'm going to take with me today and i've changed my lip to the nars uh, velvet lip glide inbound because this is beautiful more flattering i wasn't feeling the color or the texture of either of those other lip products so i just wanted to fill you in on some changes that i made before i was going out i didn't want you to think oh you know this is how she no i wasn't feeling it so this i'm definitely feeling more